the IMF and the World Bank basically um, compel, compelled Latin American nations to make what they called structural adjustments, uh, which are basically some form of neoliberal economics, uh, which would include privatization, open markets. Privatization and open markets are a God-given gift to American finance <laughs> and American industry. And so on the one hand, although it's posed as a universal and just good business practice and good banking practice, which it may well be good banking practice, although I'm not sure of that, uh, but, it, but it's not really a universal, it's not really the only way to do business. Right. You know, uh, it, it seems to me that from what I've been reading in the last couple of years, uh, the, uh, by demanding high interest rates, uh, payment, pay off, paying off deficits, right. which the United States seems to be unable to do, uh, but high interest rates, paying off deficits, uh, uh, open markets, less regulation, what has happened is in a lot of these uh, 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 third world and, and less developed countries, uh, the small, already small uh, business, a uh, small business class has been put out of business as uh, the large companies from America and England and the rest of them come in and take over. Small farmers have been put out of business and a lot of millions upon millions of people suffer terribly and they don't want this. And that may be one of the reasons why Chavez is so popular down there. This excerpt is brought to you by the Massachusetts School of Law the leader of reform in legal education and the leader in multimedia education for the public. To view the full interview and for a full listing of MSL's programs, log on to mslaw.edu.